And if the Washington Commanders were to be sold, the fallout would send ripple effects across our entire region. And WSA 9 has learned it could also revive talks of a new Commanders Stadium in Northern Virginia. Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Flack has been following the team's uh, onset of a new stadium complex for months now, and he joins us with that part of the story. Flack, this is just ongoing, it yep. seems like. The Northern Virginia Stadium deal seemed like a foregone conclusion at one point, and then the deal died, largely because of all that controversy swirling around Dan Snyder. But how would this change things? Yeah, it has been uh, quite a journey to this point, Charlotte. State Senator Adam Eben represents Alexandria, Arlington, and Fairfax. He staunchly opposed the stadium deal because he didn't want to give a tax break to a billionaire. But this morning, he told me, quote, I would never consider a stadium deal with Snyder, but the removal of Snyder cracks the door open to support a stadium plan in Northern Virginia, but I'm still skeptical. I think other state senators might feel differently. One of those state senators is Jeremy McPike, who represents parts of Prince William County, which was one of the proposed stadium sites. Today, McPike told me the removal, removal of Snyder, quote, certainly would change the tone of the discussion with some legislators, adding later that he would be among that group. Now, let's turn to Fan reaction. Fans and Sports Talk Radio have been on fire all day with the clearest indication yet Daniel Snyder's reign may truly be in jeopardy. Here's what it sounded like just hours ago on the Grant and Danny show on 106.7 The Fan. Oh, sorry that you thought you were going to tune in and we get to preview the Bears and the Commanders. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go to the phone. In the immortal words of Heath Ledger playing the Joker, I am an agent of chaos. This is good. <laughs> Stuff. Let it burn because that's the only way it's going to change. If the NFL is like the mafia, then this is a this is the part of the movie where Dan Snyder's character get whacked. I'm asking citizens in D.C., Maryland, Virginia to take action here. I'm this is a call to arms. Do not put a single cent from me and my neighbors towards Dan Snyder. So it is clear what the reaction is on social media and on sports talk radio. We have heard that for months and even years, guys. The question now is, does the latest report really change anything? Yeah, I mean, clearly fans want Snyder out, right. Flack. So would these owners turning against him really be the nail in the coffin for him? Well, you know, I think, I think that's important, guys. But I think we all know that it comes down to the money. And mm -hmm. I think <laughs> once major sponsors start pulling out from the team across the board, right. that's yeah. when things might change. In fact, some former employees were tweeting out that report and tagging major sponsors just today. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because, D, you really have been doing a lot of talking to former employees yep. of the commanders. How are they feeling about this 7,000-plus uh, report and all the allegations in it? Uh, exhausted. That's yeah. that's the word that was used. And, and, you know, listening to Eric Flack talk about what they posted in regards to the, the, the sponsorship. I mean, a year ago today was when they first reached out to the sponsors to back out, and clearly there are a lot of sponsors that are still supporting the commanders. So nothing what they're doing is, is moving anywhere. So they're really exhausted because of that. And it's also, uh, it's terrifying because they told me that what Dan Snyder is doing to, or reportedly doing to some of these owners, yeah. the same thing happened to them and some of their fellow colleagues when they used to work for, for the Washington commanders. So, so it, it's terrifying, but it's, but it's nothing new to them because right. they've seen this this story. They've heard this story a before. Pattern mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, the commanders are coming out pretty strong against this. Yep. One. Sometimes they stay quiet. Sometimes they come out to refute some of these reports. Anything else they're challenging from what we've uh, heard so far Yeah, today? so uh, we mentioned how long that report is. Yeah. In the very first paragraph, it kind of paints a picture uh, of this scene that went down between Dan Snyder and his inner circle and where he was telling them that he was getting these private investigators and he was digging up dirt. And it says, and I'm quoting here, he was crazy a drink in one hand. Well, his attorney says he doesn't drink and he's mm. never seen him drink. And he said he's been with him on, on boats and airplanes and, and at his home. And while other people may be drinking around him, he has never been drinking. So he just thought that was that was an interesting. That's also interesting to, note, yeah. uh, interesting to note about everything yeah. the attorney said. He keeps on saying, I've never seen it. Right. It's never right. happened. Right. He's been on the book since when? Not too months. long ago. <laughs> so, so I mean, this has gone back longer than that. Well, that's exactly. an interesting yeah, detail to refute as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 interesting. Yeah. There's a lot to go through. I mean, this is this this article is a behemoth mm -hmm. of yes. information. Yeah. Now, we should point out that they are just allegations, but mm -hmm. this is reporting from ESPN. 
but there's a lot to go yeah, through right. there. Yeah, there's we'll a hear lot from to the owners, through. too. They're, they're a little bit bothered that the stadium could help out and just wipe everything away from all the passive dance. Very standard. important. We'll point hear from that at 6 o'clock. We're going to yeah. continue yep. to follow this, of course, throughout the night Thanks and, so. of course, online. Thanks for that great reporting team. And, by the way, the news just doesn't stop with the Washington Commanders because they got a game tonight. We've got continuing coverage, so keep it here on WUSA 9 and download the free WUSA 9 app. All right.